Australia is on its way to becoming the top 10 largest e-commerce markets in the world. And if you want in on this action, then this video is for you because in this video, I'm going to be talking about eBay Australia, how to succeed dropshipping on this marketplace, everything that you need to know, including the best Australian suppliers, the best products, how to find the best products to dropship for the Australian market, and so much more. Quick intro and let's go. Hello everyone, hope you're all having a wonderful day today. My name is Liran from AutoDS. I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last several years. And in this video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know on eBay Australia, how to sell to the Australian audience and why would we even want to do that in the first place? Well, Australia is just one of the many regions that we can sell on when we are selling on eBay. And what this means is when we are importing products to our stores and we have them live on our stores, the first people who are going to see them, if in this case, we are adding an account for eBay Australia and we are setting up our eBay dropshipping business in the Australian region, which I will show you how to do in this video. So when you import products to your store, the first people who are going to see it is the Australian audience. So anyone who lives in Australia is going to see your listings first before they see other people's listings. And not too many dropshippers have found out about eBay Australia yet. So I wouldn't say that it's a completely untapped marketplace, but it's definitely a good place to sell on, especially if you already have a marketplace on eBay US and maybe in different other places. The biggest dropshippers know for a fact that the more regions, the more marketplaces you sell on, the more you learn about the global market. Some products that sell well on eBay US may not work well on eBay Australia. And it could also be the other way around. A product that's not working on eBay US, that's way too saturated or any other reason, may work wonders when it comes to eBay Australia. And this is the way it works. So the more you test, the more you'll succeed. And if anyone is shipping globally on eBay, if you're working, for example, on eBay US and you've enabled international shipping, you may have noticed that many people are buying your products from Australia. That just gives you a small idea of the big amount of potential that we have on the Australian market. So let's go ahead and dive right into the action and learn how we can sell and profit on eBay Australia. The first thing that we're going to learn is how to set break even and fees for eBay Australia. Then we're going to dive into product research and learn about the best Australian suppliers so that we will be able to ship our products domestically quickly to the Australian market. Then we're going to learn how to import our products from any one of our Australian suppliers to our dropshipping stores, the fast automated way so that we can save time and really scale our businesses. Then we will finish with how to process our orders and manage returns and refunds. In order to begin selling on eBay Australia, the first thing that we're going to need before configuring our break even and fees and everything else is an eBay Australian account. This is so that every product that you import to your stores, you will ship domestically to the Australian market and only the Australian audience will be able to see your listings on top of everyone else. So first they will see your listings and then any other country if you're also going to ship to there. So what you wanna do first is create your eBay Australian account right here, register an account on eBay Australia. I'll leave a link to this blog article right below this video so you can access it quickly. Once you click on that link, you'll be taken to this page and make sure that the URL has the AU because AU is Australia. So once you click on that link, you'll be taken to this page. You'll be able to create your Australian eBay account. So fill in your information, create your account, and then you can start selling. Now, in order to begin selling, you will have to connect your eBay account with a payment option, for example, PayPal or Payoneer. So eBay will ask you to do one or the other. I'm not sure if eBay Managed Payments has made it to Australia yet by the time you're watching this video. So if eBay asks you to connect to Payoneer, you have a video on our YouTube channel that explains everything on how to do that and how to manage your payments on Payoneer. And same thing goes for PayPal. So register for your eBay account, connect your eBay Australian account to a PayPal or Payoneer payment option. And then we can move on to creating your break even and your fees so that you'll be able to profit the right way when selling on eBay Australia. So the next step is to opt in for eBay business policies. This is so that you can start creating your policies for eBay Australia, whether you listed items yet or not on your new account. So what you wanna do first is opt in for eBay business policies. There's a link to that as you can see here once again, right in this blog, which I will leave a link to under this video as I mentioned just about a minute ago. So once you opt in for eBay business policies, you will have the option to start creating your payment policies, your shipping policies, 
and your return policies. Now I won't go over that in this video because on the one hand it is self-explanatory if you know exactly what your supplier can offer you, but if you have no idea how to do this, if you've never done it before, just use the blog right below this article and it will take you step by step on how to create your payment policies, your shipping policies and your return policies as you can see here in front of me. Just remember that in the payments option, you may have the required immediate payment when buyer uses buy it now using the manage payments by eBay. This means that you have Payoneer connected, otherwise it will give you the PayPal option, which is what's written in the blog below this video. So whether you have PayPal or Payoneer, it really doesn't matter, the policies are still going to be the same. You can offer the same shipping, the same return and the same payment policies except that one will lead to PayPal and one will lead to Payoneer. So I'm not going to get to the business policies in this video. As I mentioned, everything is written really well on the blog article and I want to get to the real good stuff when it comes to eBay Australia. So let's do one thing together, which is setting the break even and profit percentages because this is something important that you don't want to make any mistakes on. Not that you do want to make mistakes on the eBay business policies, it's also a very important and crucial thing to have. But let's start with the break even and profit settings before we start talking about product research. So when it comes to Australia, and this is different from other marketplaces, that is why I wanna talk about it here. You have different fees when selling on eBay Australia when compared to selling on eBay US or any other region. As you can see here, you have the eBay Australia selling fees, which is a 10.9% of the total amount of sales. So if the product, if you're selling it for $100, eBay is going to take a 10.9% fee from that on average. You have different products in different categories where eBay takes a different final value fee, but this will be your average final value fee. So first, we know that we have 10.9% on every product that we sell from the selling price. Now, while I'm recording this video, eBay provides new seller accounts with 40 free fixed price listings. This very may change by the time you're watching this video, but that is what's available right now for anyone who's registering for an eBay Australia account. And once we use up those 40 free listings, we will pay a $1.65 insertion fee if you didn't subscribe for an eBay store yet. So that's a very expensive price to pay for every listing that you add to eBay. So make sure that you didn't pass the 40 free listings before you add more listings to your store. But in this case, you haven't added listings yet. You're watching this video, you're taking it step by step and that is the right thing to do. Just keep that in mind. So, so far we know that we have a 10.9% fee on every product that we sell. We only have to pay for this fee after we sell the product. There are no upfront fees up until now. The only thing that we did was create a free account on eBay Australia and we set our business policies. We opted in for the eBay business policies. We got our shipping payment and return policies and now we're moving forward. So we know that we have 40 listings that are free and that we'll have a 10.9% transaction fee on every transaction that goes through. Next, there are the PayPal fees. Now, this differs between PayPal and Payoneer once again. So when you join the managed payment system, it may not be a 10.9% fee anymore. eBay could take a 11 or 12% fee. So make sure that you check the right fees depending on what your payment options are. Now you won't have a choice whether you can work with PayPal or Payoneer and this is a very hot topic these days because eBay just made the switch recently from PayPal to Payoneer. So things are changing all the time. Make sure that you go to eBay's fees page and make sure you know exactly how much fees you're paying. Now in this example, eBay would take a 10.9% fee if you're working with PayPal, and then PayPal will take another 2.6 to 3.6% fee on every transaction that goes through. If it's a domestic transaction, which means that the buyer and the seller are in the same location, you will pay a 2.6% fee plus another 30 cents in Australian dollars per transaction. For international transaction, that's another 1%. So from 2.6 to 3.6% plus 30 cents. So that's how it works if you're working with PayPal. Once again, it differs on Payoneer and it also depends on where you live, what your location is in the world. So make sure that you read Payoneer's fees and that you read eBay's fees and you know exactly how much you're paying. This example is for PayPal. Now, from my experience, where I'm dropshipping from, eBay and Payoneer is cheaper than eBay and PayPal. I'm pretty sure that it's the same globally, but once again, check it and make sure that it's correct on your side. So what is the break-even calculation for eBay Australia? In this example, we know that eBay takes a 10.9% transaction fee on every transaction. So let's take out a calculator and write down these things. 10.9% taken from eBay, another 3.6%. We're going to take the larger one 
not the domestic transaction, but we'll take an international transaction just in case because we don't ever want to get to the point where we're losing money. It's better to make more profit as a surprise than to lose profit as a surprise. 10.9% plus 3.6% totals 14.5%. And we have another 30 cents for every transaction that PayPal takes. So as you see here, 10.9 plus 3.6 is 14.5. Now, what about sales tax? When you buy a product from Amazon or from AliExpress or from Walmart or from any one of the 25 suppliers that AutoDS supports or any supplier that you work with, your supplier can take a, an average of 10% sales tax on the product that you're buying. Now, sometimes they may not take tax. Sometimes it could be 4% or 7%. Let's average it out at around 6%. So let's add another 6% to our break even. Now, keep in mind, sometimes it can be a little bit more and sometimes it can be a little bit less. So now we're talking at 20.5%, as you can see right here. You can round it up to 21% if you want. This would be your break even calculation. So this means that every product that you buy, you know that you have to pay around 21% on top of that to get to your break even price. And any price that you sell on top of that is your profit. So make sure that you know exactly what your break even costs are and that you are profiting the right way. Remember, quick tip, you can add all of this information on AutoDS. So let me just show you really quick where you can see this menu. On AutoDS, head to the settings page and make sure that you're adding a supplier from that location if you want the domestic shipping. So in this case, I'm going to look at Amazon AU, which is Amazon Australia. And here I can tell the system, okay, the default item country is Australia. Everything here is correct. But when I click on pricing, I want the system to know that my fees are definitely not 0%. It's more like 21%. And from here, I want to make another 20% in profit and another 30 cents because that's what PayPal takes from me or that's what eBay takes from me from the eBay managed payments, which they do. So in this case, the system knows, okay, so if the product costs $100 and your fees are 21%, you wanna make a 20% profit plus another 30 cents. This means that if the product costs $100, you're going to have to sell it for $152.28. And that's what the system will do for the products that I'm adding that belong to Amazon Australia. So I hope that I made that point clear. When it comes to break even, how to get your break even and how to make your profit on top of that. This is a very important lesson to learn because a lot of people think that they know how much they're profiting, but at the end of the day, they have no idea. They think they know. And then the end of the month comes, they see that they made a profit of $1,000, but they only pulled $200 in profits to their bank account. So something here is wrong. And this is how you can get to those mistakes and fix them. Okay, enough with the technical stuff. Let's get on to the good stuff. What are the best Australian dropshipping suppliers that we can dropship from so that we can get fast shipping to the Australian market? And what are the best ways to conduct product research and really get products that will sell for us? Let's go ahead and begin. The first Australian supplier that you guys should be working with is AliExpress Australia. Now, many dropshippers start working with AliExpress, but they usually make the same mistake of dropshipping from AliExpress China to eBay US or to a US marketplace. And at the end of the day, Americans don't wanna see three to four week shipping times. They wanna get their product in two to three days or one week max, even if it means that they have to pay more for it. So in this case, we're not doing China to US, we're going to do Australia to Australia from AliExpress. And this is how it's done. First things first, head to AliExpress and of course, create your AliExpress account if you don't have one. Then on the top right, you'll see the flags. This is the ship to option. So here, you're telling AliExpress, I want to see all of the products that can ship to Australia. Now, you're probably asking yourself, but what about the ship from? I want to ship from Australia to Australia to get the really fast shipping times. And I completely agree with you guys. This is how it's done. So first of all, make sure that you're shipping to Australia so that you will see all of the products that ship to Australia. You won't search for products that can't reach that country. Now, let's make a search, any type of search. For example, let's just keep it very basic shirts. OK, search for that. And once you get to the search results screen, you will have a ship from option right here. I'm going to click on that and then I will choose Australia. So I'm telling AliExpress, show me all of the products that ship from Australia, which just refresh now that ship, of course, to Australia. So once again, what we're seeing here are all of the products that can ship from Australia to Australia, which means domestic shipping which means you can ship out your products much, much faster. So going back a few minutes when we were talking about making the shipping policies for your Australian suppliers, make sure that you know exactly how long each product takes and you may have to create multiple policies 
some that arrive within 10 days, some that arrive within five days, some that arrive maybe within 20 days, as long as your customers know exactly when they're going to get their product and that you are connecting the right policies to the right products. So AliExpress Australia, number one on our list. The second Australian supplier that you should be working with is Banggood Australia. This is pretty much the same as AliExpress. It's a different supplier, a different Chinese supplier that also has warehouses in Australia. So what we're going to do is click on Banggood and I'm going to use the link once again right here on this blog because it'll take me straight to the Banggood Australian warehouse. And as you can see, there's a nice deal going on. AU warehouse special deals up to 70% off. This is another dropshipping friendly supplier that sells only products that are fit for the dropshipping business model and they rely on dropshippers like you and I to sell their products for them or resell them better yet. So as you see here, all of these products are trending. All of these products are products that are selling really well. You can see here by the reviews. And once again, this is another great supplier that will help you along your journey to really dropship the right way, the right products and profit well and while keeping it all under the same house so shipping from australia to australia fast domestic shipping to the australian audience supplier number three that i want to talk about is amazon australia this is one of my favorite suppliers if you guys have seen my videos then it goes without saying but let's give it a try let's see if we have a link in the blog okay right here to amazon au so i'm going to click on that and now amazon is going to show me all of the products that ship only to Australia from Australia. Okay, so now we're in amazon.com.au and we're seeing all of the products that can be delivered to Australia. This is another great supplier and with Amazon Prime, they're going to get their products so fast and your buyers are simply going to thank you. Let's choose any product. Let's go to the garden niche. And this is not product research, but I just want to show it to you guys. Just click on this product, add it to your stores if you guys haven't done so yet. Best sellers are always great products to test. And as you can see here, Free delivery by Thursday, which is this Thursday. Today is Monday, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Three-day delivery to Canberra, which is a city, a suburb inside Australia. So as you see here, very fast shipping to the Australian market using Amazon Australia. Now here we have a how to find hot products with dropship on eBay Australia. So as I just showed you guys, using the best sellers is a great place to start. You also want to know which dropshipping categories are relevant for dropshipping. So if you're new, we have a blog on that. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are looking for that and I'll leave a link to it. But overall, these three suppliers are my top three favorite Australian suppliers. So we talked about AliExpress Australia, Banggood Australia and Amazon Australia. Top three suppliers that store their products in Australian warehouses where you can ship really quickly domestically inside Australia to the Australian market and they are simply going to thank you for it because you are the dropshipper who's giving them this fast shipping and they don't have to buy it from some US marketplace or any other place where the shipping will take much longer. Maybe they'll save a buck, maybe they'll spend a buck more, but that's not what matters. They want to receive their items quickly and they'd rather buy from you inside Australia rather than buy it from someone else in another region. So now let's talk about finding products, product research for the Australian market. How can we find the best products to sell to them? So one, we already talked about using the best sellers and new releases. When you go to those places on Amazon, it will give you a good idea of what's selling. So if I know that this product is a best seller and then I go to new releases and I see that there are new products coming out in this line, I will definitely add it to my store because I'm going to beat many dropshippers to the race there. That's one way of adding products. Just make sure that it's relevant for the dropshipping niche because if I click now on best sellers and you're a new dropshipper and you don't know your way around the block yet, you don't want to sell apps and games or things in Amazon Launchpad or Amazon devices and accessories, audible books, definitely not gift cards and a few other categories here that are not relevant, movies and TV. Uh, what else can we find here? Uh, that's pretty much it. The rest should be okay, unless I miss something. Audible books and originals, if I mentioned it, shouldn't be there too. Um, yeah, so if you guys also don't sell Kindle Store, if you guys need help with that, let me know in the comments below. I'll leave you guys a link to what categories you can dropship from. So, one good place is Amazon's best sellers. Now, you have the same thing in AliExpress. You have the AliExpress Dropshipping Center. This is one of the best places to conduct product research. Let me show you how that works. First, you want to go to Google and write down AliExpress Dropshipping Center. Then you'll have the link. 
Click on that and it'll take you to the dropshipping center. Simply log into your AliExpress account. Here you can see the best products that are selling. So on the left side, I'm going to click on find products to sell. Now I want to check the best products that are selling on the Australian market. The rest of the markets don't matter in this case. So what we're going to do is change the ship to Australia. And now I can see the best selling products that ship to Australia. So what I can see here is the product. So the product's title, its price, how many orders it got, the average product rating, the sales performance, and if we click on analyze, we can see more in-depth information of how this product is performing. So let's take it for this example on this cute, soft, long cat pillow. And at the same time, I would search for this product using the three suppliers that I talked about. Amazon, AliExpress, and Banggood when it comes to Australia. So as you see, this product didn't sell much, and then suddenly the sales started to grow. Sales volume 100 probably means that someone brought, bought this product to their stock, but even without connection to that, you can see that this product st continued to sell and only now recently dropped down. So we can put this pro product on our radar, but you should take a look at some more to make sure that it's not a temporary peak because somebody bought stock. So let's also analyze these sunglasses just as a last example. And as you see, this one peaked to 102. So some e-commerce store owner is buying stock from these products. And don't forget that there's a nice risk that comes along with that. If you're buying stock and you haven't tested the product before, you'll probably, there's a high chance that you'll be stuck with this stock and you'll even sell it at a loss as long as you sell it and get it over with. So make sure that you're doing extensive product research before you start buying products to your stock. That is why the dropshipping business model is really, really great. And for me, it's been working for more than five years now and I simply love it. I keep learning more things every day. And this is one of the best things that I like about it, that you don't need this investment. So let's just analyze one more product for this example. Okay, here is a product that didn't have a temporary sell increase because someone bought it to their stock. So as you see, nothing happened. And then it started selling. So on July 30th, which is just over a week ago, it sold 9 units. Then the next day it sold 60, then 68, 87, 97. Dropped to 59, then 81, 100, and 85. So what's happening here is this product is simply selling, probably for other dropshippers. So why not try this one yourself? So what is this product we're looking at? Silicon strip, glass door, and window seal. What I'm going to do is open up my suppliers pages and search for this product using them too. This way I'm going to differentiate myself from the competition. I'm importing products that are similar to ones that are going well for others. And this is simply the strategy. This is the way to do it. So what I'm going to do is take this product title and I will search for it using the other suppliers. For example, we talked about Amazon. So let's go to amazon.com.au, search for this product and start adding them to my store. Not just one, 20, 30, 50, however much I can to be able to test this product correctly. Now, don't spend all of your limits on just one item. If you only have a limit, for example, if it's a new account and you have a 40 limit, just import one or two from this product and keep testing more and more. So that sums up the product research just a little bit. There is more ways to conduct product research, but this video is already starting to take too long. Use the blog below and you will also learn how to use eBay to find products. So up until now, we're, we were using our Australian suppliers to find best-selling products. You can also use eBay to do the same. Quick explanation, you have the ship to also on eBay. Make sure that you're shipping only to Australia, and that way you'll see only products that are selling for Australia. Then you will search for products on the eBay Australian marketplace using your supplier's titles. So take a product that is selling well from your supplier, search for it on eBay Australia, see the results. You have a, you have a way to filter the sold items as you see here. So you can filter only the sold items, see only the items that are selling on eBay from the product that you have searched. And this way you can find profitable dropshippers or even non-profitable dropshippers, but you can see what products are selling for them. Take those ideas, look for them on your suppliers and import them to your store. Don't worry about the prices. It's not the same competition if it's not the same product and definitely if it's not from or to the same marketplace. So that quickly sums up product research. I hope that you guys understood that. Leave your questions and comments down below. I want to see if you guys are stuck, where you guys are stuck. I want to know what your guys' level is so I'll know how to create my next explanations for you guys. The next thing that I want to talk about is how to import these products to your stores. And I will make this one quick, but it's very, very important because if you don't add business automation, you won't be able to scale to high places. You'll only make a fixed profit, rather a small amount every month. Not something that you will be proud of unless you add business automation. Let's talk about that right now. So I found a product that's going to sell well for me in theory. Let's talk about these silicon 
strip glass door window seals. So let's say that this product is selling really, really well for me. And what I want to do is add as many of them to my store as possible. First, let's say that I only want to test the product. So it didn't start selling yet. Let's say I only want to add one of them. So let's go to this one. I'll simply click on it to go inside the product listing. Then what I want to do is download and install the AutoDS Chrome dropshipping helper extension. Once I download that, I will be able to see this AutoDS circle right here. All you have to do is search Google for AutoDS helper. It'll be the first result that you'll see. Then I will grab the product's URL, copy it, head to the AutoDS platform, and on the left side, I'll click on add products. Then I'll simply paste the URL right over here. Add as a draft, and that is how simple it is to add this product to my drafts page. Item is being added to drafts, click here to track the progress. So let's click on that, and let's give it a couple of seconds to add this draft. Now, this is the easy way to add products in singles. You can make a line break on each one and add more and more products if you wish. So for example, this is one product, copy another URL. This is the second product, copy another URL. This is the third product. Another way to do it is to grab products in bulk. Let me show you how that is done. So what you want to do is head over to your suppliers page. And let's say we want to add much more of this product. So what we're going to do is search for it again on Amazon get to the search results. Now, let's say you tested this product and you saw that it's, that it's going well for you. So the first thing that you want to do is download and install the AutoDS Chrome helper extension. Just write on Google AutoDS helper and you'll get to it. Once you download and install the extension, you will see it here on your suppliers page. So make the search, see all of the products that you have on this page, scroll down to the bottom so that they all load up, then click on the AutoDS circle. Next, click on extract. And as you see, all of the 54 products on this page got extracted into this little extension. Then I'll click on export as CSV. A CSV file was created with all of the product IDs inside. I'm going to head back to the AutoDS platform. And instead of adding the buy URLs or IDs, I'm just going to click on upload CSV. Here, I'm going to drag and drop that CSV file or click on it to open the browser window. Head to that file, double click on it, processing CSV. And in just one or two seconds, file is uploaded. Then I'll click on add as a draft and all of those products that we had on that page will be added to the draft section of my store. So that is how easy it is to add products to your store, at least to the draft section, where you can continue optimizing your products, the titles, the variations, the images, the variants, item specifications, and so forth. Once you're done optimizing your products, you can import them to your store. It'll land in the products page on AutoDS and it'll go live in your store where anyone will be able to see it and buy it. Now let's talk about order fulfillment and how to actually handle returns and refunds and all of those cases that we might have when selling on eBay Australia. So when it comes to handling returns and refunds, first things first, it's important to know, as mentioned in this video, what your supplier can offer. So if, for example, you're dropshipping using Amazon Prime Australia, then Amazon Prime is going to give you a 30 day return window. No questions asked, no matter what the reason of your return is. Just open up a return request and they will provide you with a return label. You need to send that return label to your customer. And once the customer sends it back, you have the shipping information in the return label. So you can track the shipping, see that it returned to Amazon. Amazon will send you the refund and you will send the customer the refund or replacement if that's what they prefer. So you need to know, first of all, what your supplier can offer. On AliExpress, for example, it's different. AliExpress makes it a little bit harder to handle returns. For example, if the buyer simply regretted their purchase, then the seller on AliExpress may not have to accept the return or they will accept it, but the buyer will have to pay for the shipping return. So what you wanna do is make sure that you know what your supplier can offer you and make sure that you are using the right return policy for the products that you are adding. Of course, you can create as many return policies as you want and make sure that you are simply assigning the right ones to the right products. You can use the return policies link as you see here in front of me using the blog article link right below this video. And that will take you to AliExpress's return service. So you can see when you are eligible for a free return, when you'll have to pay for the return shipping and so forth. So use that, it'll help you along the way. That is what's required when it comes to returns and refunds. Make sure you get the right business policies as explained in the beginning of this video. You have a full tutorial on how to do that. Now let's talk about fulfilling orders and I'll make this one quick because this video was way longer than I expected it to be. So there is no fulfilled by AutoDS service for Australian suppliers yet, which means that we will have to process our orders manually, semi-automated and make it much faster than it usually is. And that is using the address copier. So once again, make sure that you have the AutoDS Chrome dropshipping helper extension installed. Once you got that, you'll be able to copy addresses really, really easily. Let me show you how that is done really quick. So here is my order screen. Sorry for all of the blurriness guys, but 
Hopefully you can understand that I have more than enough dropshippers copying my products. And what I'm trying to do is teach you guys how to not copy like a parrot, but learn how to sell similar products. And at the end of the day, create your own business practices that are similar to those that are succeeding. So what I want to show you here is an order from Australia how you can process the order really, really quickly. So I have an order here from an Australian customer. Now, how do I fulfill it as fast as possible? First, I'm going to click on the source ID so that I will get to the product really, really quickly. So in this case, let's say it's this bug zapper over here. Now, this is a real customer and the address is real. So what I'm going to do is fulfill this order for this customer. So first things first, of course, if you have a coupon, save an extra $10 when you apply this coupon. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's make another $10 in profit. Then we're going to add it to cart or buy it now. So let's go ahead with the buy it now option since we're not going to add more products to our cart. Now we're at the checkout page. So since I have so many addresses, because some of my orders, I process them manually. So what I'm going to do is search for add a new address and we can see it here. So it took me to the bottom of the page. Then what I want to do is use this paste option to be able to paste this customer's address without writing everything one by one. This is once again available once you download and install the AutoDS Chrome dropshipping extension. So this is another feature coming out from that extension. So what you want to do first is go to the AutoDS screen, open up the order details and click on copy address. You can copy only the address or copy the address along with the phone number. In this case, it's all nine, so it doesn't really matter. I will copy only the address. Address is copied. Now we'll go back to the cart and I'm going to click the paste button. Now watch what happens. Everything is being automated. I've got my hands up. The country is Australia. Here's the customer's full name, phone number all in nines. Address is just as what's written on the AutoDS order details with the postcode. So in this case, please choose a city or suburb. So let's see what we got on the order details. In this case, the city is Merino. So in city, I'm going to click on it, choose Merino. And that's the only manual thing that I had to do here. Now I'm going to click on use this address. So as you see here, here's the customer's address. I added it really easily using the copy address function. And when you have 10, 20, 30 orders per day, this is going to save you a lot of time if you don't have order automation. So I hope that this video helped you guys out a lot on how to drop ship from eBay Australia using the best Australian dropshipping suppliers to ship your items quickly to the Australian market, help you guys with your order automation, and most importantly, with product research, finding the right products to sell to your market. It's all about testing. So the more products that you test, the more results that you will see. And then you'd want to multiply your success by adding more products similar to the ones that are selling well for you, while also on the other hand, testing more and more products to find your next winner. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest videos that we have coming out. It's full of valuable content like you got in this video. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Give us a like, give us a share so that your friends and family can also learn about the wild and amazing world of dropshipping. Thank you for watching. Good luck with eBay Australia. See you in the future videos.